Good morning. It is another day of working at the Freedom Factory and we were working on this race car. This is my race car. We're getting it branded up and we're here to win a helicopter. It is too windy to paint this, but we do have to get it painted. We are moving this car over here to see if we can get it out of the wind. Okay, Rudy, jump in there. Mama, will you call him on the phone? Probably hot in there. Yeah. Okay, nobody get behind him. Okay, just keep on backing, keep on backing. Too far, that's far enough. I need another can of paint. Not the best way to paint, but it's working. All right, it is a new day and we are working here in the shop. That's in Florida, so that left us to do whatever we wanted to do. So we've got kind of a crazy project. This is the Golden Nugget. I know this is the favorite vehicle of many of you. It's also Ed's favorite vehicle. He absolutely loves the Golden Nugget, but he has a hard time driving it because the seat is so close up. We're gonna cut into this thing, move the seat back, and hopefully it'll be a little bit more comfortable for Ed to drive around. Ed didn't seem really excited about us chopping into this thing, but it's what has to be done for him to be comfortable. Tipping that seat forward is just a bad idea. So I want these back mounts to be nice and low. I'm gonna sketch out where we need to cut. Sorry about this, Robbie. That's the part that has to go. Hey, how's the weather today? Oh, beautiful day today. No clouds, no wind. Be up to 70 degrees. Okay, we're gonna make a little shelf that fits right in here, weld that all back together, drill some holes for the back seat, and then figure out where the front mounts need to go. Yeah. All right, let's see if this is gonna work. Oh. Look oh. at that. That looks so good. What does 48 mean? No one knows. No one knows? No one knows. Maybe they'll give us some 110 fuel to run in this bad boy. What's in it? Is that what's in it? Yeah. Mm, that's oh, why really? she's she's up on the good stuff, huh? Yeah, they've advanced the timing to burn the better fuel and everything. And I'm about to ring this pony out. I think that so looks good. really good. We're going to be wrapping the hood red. Put a big old O'Reilly sticker on. O'Reilly stepped up big time to help us with this race. So we're going to be sporting their colors. They're letting the drivers do practice laps today. I already did some a couple weeks ago, but I think I might lay down a few more today. We got Tim Kennedy in there right there. If you guys don't know who he is, look him up. We're gonna throw a couple of test laps in right now in this beauty right here. We're about ready to start welding. What you welding? So there's a plate that's gonna go right in here. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna weld up some of these little seams. You cut out a bigger hole, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be nice and flat all the way back so that we can mount the back of the seats right on there. We'll tack it in and then we'll set your seat on there, make sure it's gonna work. Yeah.
All right, I'm trying to be really careful with the outside of the golden nugget. This fender, this wheel well area is definitely gonna get a little burned. It's gonna get scorched and the inside's gonna get burned, but Robbie won't have to do anything on the outside if we're really careful. Let's see how we're doing. I think this is gonna work. Like, okay, my knee is still up in the steering wheel, but it should be a lot easier to get your foot down there. And Ed's not quite as tall as me. We might need to move that brake pedal over so he doesn't accidentally stomp on the brake instead of the gas, but that's not so bad. The other way is bad. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more hammering on this before I weld it in. Then I'm gonna eat my PBJ and then we will weld it up. Good morning, it is the next day. It's actually race day. I got my race studs on. These aren't my real race studs. This is what I'm using to intimidate the other drivers. I own this. This belongs to me. Anyway, super excited. We found out who we're qualifying with. The qualifying laps, I'm gonna be out there with Cletus. I'm gonna be out there with Boosted Boys. I'm gonna be out there with Jeremiah from Donut. Uh, Derek from Vice Grip, we're gonna be out there with him. I think that's it. I think it's those five. So we're supposed to be getting our cars all decked out, but we did that yesterday. So we got nothing to do but just hang out. We're hanging out here with Nitto Tires, doing a little pre-gaming. Refreshing. Number, yeah. yeah. <laughs> First famous person I ever met. Our hot is probably a little different. I am? Now, right? yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. This is crazy, dude. What's your name? Brett. Brett, good to all meet you, man. All the way from Texas. Texas, wow. Oh yeah. Guy. So we were looking around and some of the pro level drivers were doing a little trick with the tape here. There's one of the pro level drivers right there. So I'm going to follow their lead. He put a much bigger mirror on his. Well, his was missing one. So he, he just went to the store and got one. He says he's not proud of it. Keeps him from folding. Just an old derby trick. You don't have mirrors in derby, though. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Old NASCAR trick. <laughs> Just goofing. New boot goofing. Group four. Jackson, Keaton, Tim, BJ, and Heavy D. That's a really bad group. <laughs> <laughs> a really bad group. <laughs> group five. Zach, Ryan, DeBernie. Now we're just going to sit here and wait to do our qualifying laps, which I'm actually kind of nervous about. If I think about it, I'm more nervous about that than the racing, because the qualifying, you only got three laps to strut your stuff. And uh, the racing, I got 100 laps, so I can make a lot of mistakes and then fix them on the rest of the laps. Qualifying, you make a mistake on the first three, you're done. So it is a new day, we are working in the shop again, and I know it might be a little confusing because Matt's gone and you're trying to bounce back and forth between time zones. I know, I get confused. So we came up with a little way to help you know what's going on. See, right here is where Matt left, right up here. And yesterday we ended right about here. And so we're thinking day two and maybe Matt get back right about here if we keep our Cheeto consumption consistent throughout the time he's gone. Hey, Ed's up this morning. We're gonna get back at it, Ed. We're gonna bolt this seat down. Yeah. We don't have much left to do. I think we just drill some holes and we can get it in there. How do you pick out where the holes go? You use some paint? Maybe? I was gonna put grease on the bottom of them and set them in there and see where it leaves marks. That's a new way. I heard of that it should yet. work. I just made it up. Okay, so. Do you want all the way back? Oh, yeah, let's get it all the way back where it's gonna drop in and then just go straight down and land it where it needs to go. All right, is that, does that feel like the right spot? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that should be where it needs to be. Let's pull it out and see what we got. Did it leave marks? It did, that is beautiful, Okay, Tom. we'll drill right through those grease balls what and that? we'll lubricate our drill bit. Try it. How'd we do? Okay. You got it. We did something right then. Okay. I'm gonna put nuts on them really quick. I'm just putting these on enough to hold it. We'll tip it up and then drill this front. All right. Let's see if these spacers are gonna work. 
So I built two spacers because Ed wanted it three quarters of an inch higher, not a whole two by four width. So we're gonna try that. Okay, we got three of them on. This one right here is a little different than the rest of them, but that should be just the right height. So I'm gonna check really quick by just sitting in there. Oh yeah, this feels good. This feels like right where he's gonna need it. So we're still rocking a little bit cause I don't have them all bolted down. And I have this one left to make, but now that we got this height figured out, I should be able to build it, clamp that bolt together and then weld it to the side of the cab. So they've had a couple year. runs. My He's dad's up next, so we're gonna go up to the bleachers and watch him do his run. Head back down, make sure he needs everything, get everything done. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. This is gonna go good. And another guy to keep an eye on that, you know, That was awesome. Yeah, it was. The announced you put down a 15.56. A what? A no, 19.56. That's what I meant, 19.56. That's as fast as Pastrana last year. Hopefully it was a qualifying one. <laughs> right now it's JH, Adam LZ, Derek, and Tanner Faust. And then Ty, and then Kevin, then Matt. Number seven, Matt. Yeah. Woo! Number eight, Cletus, dude, what the heck? Cletus! <laughs> <laughs> well, you were doing those uh, Brodies out there. Kevin Smith and KSR. Ty Braun with an eighth place qualifying effort in his eighth. Travis Pastrana in the 199, finishing in fourth. And how about Matt? that top three there, Justin? I think they're well, doing at number three, you got figure the eight seven, band seven, jumping, six, racing. With, uh, I don't Derek know. Voscrip Garage <laughs> ran. We need to do that next year. <laughs> that was insane. That was good stuff. You did good. What are you, 10? 10? Heck yeah. yeah. Killing it. That's great. I did 10. Oh, nice. KSR. That's a past winner right there. That's who I need to follow. Yeah. Get behind Old I'd Blue. I'd rather get behind Cletus. I'd say get behind those two. Winning ticket. Brad DeBerti did good. Big Welder Ty did good. Tanner Faust. None of these are surprises. These are all race car drivers here. Vice Grip Garage, look how fast he was. <laughs> Travis. What? How fast do you have to be to get this place? Yeah. Everything was tight. So what would you end up? 
10. 10. Oh, perfect. That's like great. Yeah. Honestly, I'm super happy with it. Top 12 was like. I feel good because I'm with all. I, I meet with all the race car drivers. Yeah. But that's also kind of intimidating. Like. Oh, you got this, man. It's gonna be fun. I wanted to be. I either wanted to be in the very, very back, or like top three rows. I think like it's gonna get really dicey right about where you are because everyone's. Good luck. You're gonna have so much fun. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you first or second? I got first. I'm in the pole right nice. now. Nice. So. Holy, that's awesome. See what happens here. That is awesome. Uh, All that smack talking Cletus did the other day. Yeah, you know, gave me some drive, some motivation here. <laughs> it's like so, he can't drive. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm like, was that, do. was he being uh, sarcastic? Apparently. Well, and they didn't reverse the field, which was really nice. That's, was a, that's a double bonus. I was amazed. That was the first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm first. If I'm top five, we're, we're usually at Burton. Yeah. It's happening. But did you see how close everybody is? I, I didn't see it. That makes sense. Faust. I'm just excited I'm ahead of Tanner. <laughs> By .03. <laughs> That's your mile when it's winning. I like it. Good job, JH. That's awesome. So we just found out there is three, three tenths of a second between pole position and tenth place. So there is ten cars within three tenths of a second of each other. Stacked up in the top 10. Oh, the little old me's right there in number 10. All right, so that's gonna go right there. So we got a bunch of paint to clear off to make that fit good. Oh, thanks. I love these things. <laughs> we gotta let this cool off for a minute, then the seat can go in for the final time. All right, the seat's all installed now. We had to do some cutting into the body of this thing, but I think we kept all the burn marks inside the cab or inside the wheel well, so it should be pretty easy for Robbie to repair. Do you want to sit in it and feel? It's all bolted in. You got him, got him in? It's, it's bolted down. Tell us what you think. Give it a try. Yeah, yeah that's great. Good job. Coming from Ed, I'm gonna take that as high praise. Oh, wow, yeah, you got plenty of room now, huh? Oh, yeah. I wanna see you drive this, Ed. This will be the first time with this much comfort, huh? I think we've got him talked into a quick trip around the block. That's all we can do right now because it's not licensed, but I just wanna see Ed drive this thing. I don't think I've ever ridden in this before since we've recovered it. Nice. Nice. All right, let's just go around the block. Okay, we're gonna back in and hook onto the Rokon so we can put that away. But this is a huge improvement. Like Ed can drive this now. I think we still wanna move the brake pedal over a little bit for him so he doesn't like oh, hit both man. with one foot. But he's gonna be out in this thing every day soon. All right, so we are out here on the track. We're getting ready to start. Like I said, I, I qualified in 10th place, which puts me in the middle of a bunch of clean drivers. I finished right ahead of Cletus. They say that when you're back here, when they restart, you have a serious advantage. Because you can hold back, 
And then when you see the car coming into the box, you can start accelerating. And then when he hits the box, you're already going faster than everybody else. All right, what we have right here is a nitrous button. When I hold this down, I have a nitrous shot. I don't know how many seconds of nitrous I have, but I'm not planning on using it till the end of the race if I even use it at all. They say that if you push it when you don't have the throttle on, you have a chance of danger to manifold, which is a pretty serious problem if you've ever watched Fast and the Furious. Racing equipment. I did, I know some of you guys expected a Let's do this. Boogity, 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 boys. So we're sitting here waiting for the race. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. Got all the butterflies. All right, we're ready. He had a big gap in between LS George and the Boosted Boys, and this is going to kind of reset him. Get them get packed in together. Yeah. Coming out of turn number two, he's got to get out to of go that. for several cars up there. Up on the hood or something. Yeah, yeah, somebody's gonna have to do something. Yeah, we're we're up 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 not, this is not good. We've got Tanner Faust in the backup blue car oh, getting a I get backup? Is that what's going on? I think so. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, jumping on it. it. Oh, yeah, it's down. Then they'll put you in another round. There we go. Awesome. So, yeah, hang out. We'll see Brad DeBerti. Look at it. Oh, yeah. There we go. A little hood jump, and it looks good. Yeah, and for Ellis Short, I mean, a six-place finish necessarily so his best. Right 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 you got to be the slower in the corner. Yeah, yeah, still has uh, a bit of work to do. to do. That's for sure. As he's we are getting ready to Matt's go. Matt's running back, back on the green, track the again, and it seems like his car is doing okay after having that hood squish. this thing back underway.
Yeah. Swift gonna get he the blew his tire out. All the way up to the top of the racetrack. He might have a flat tire. We guys. He needs a caution. He blew a tire out, but it. I am proud of that right now. I am so proud of you, man. Yeah, he made it to lap 85. Hey, next year. I done a number. Yes, you did. I did a number on it. So when I got in this mess down here, I never had my power back. So I was losing on every straightaway, I was losing. So I just started trying to charge into the corners harder, and I just charged into one too hard. So I don't know what happened, but power was down. Hold on, do we have the camera? Oh, here he goes. Well, we hung in there as long as we could, but it wasn't long enough, was it? No, uh, the two newbies got out uh, with uh, less than, uh, I don't know, 20 laps, less than 15 laps ago. We got busted, man. Yeah, we did. They found out we weren't race car drivers. <laughs> they got, we got busted quick. Almost made it. And yeah. then we got we got tore up pretty good. Yeah. I'll uh, do this again though. This is this is good fun. I'll have to promise Cletus I'll be nicer to his car. <laughs> I think yours will race again. I don't think mine will. I, I think yours is pretty much done. They fixed the suspension on mine, I'll be alright, but it wasn't good enough to go around anymore. But they didn't even get to use the nitrous. I tried that using mine uh, and uh, I didn't feel anything. Next we'll, year. we'll be back. Next year, I want to drive J.H. Diesel's car next year. <laughs> All right, we came, we raced. Turns out we're not that fast, or at least we can't finish the we can't finish the job. Maybe next year. Thanks for watching.